The Sitecore Data Exchange Framework allows data to be synchronized to and from Sitecore and any other system or database. It is a subsystem which allows the definition and customization of data exchange processes, extracting, manipulating, and mapping the Sitecore and external data. Synchronization processes using the data exchange framework can be set up and configured through the Sitecore management interface. These are typically defined by developers or administrators. The synchronization process is essentially a pipeline or a number of pipeline steps run sequentially, which is started by reading data from one endpoint and finishes by saving data to another endpoint. Both endpoints can be served by different providers. For example, one endpoint could be the Sitecore Master database, and another could be the XConnect collection service, or a third could be a third party service, for example, a CRM system or a product information system, a PIM. <clears throat> when an administrator triggers a synchronization process, a Sitecore task is created, and the synchronization process runs in that task. The Sitecore task itself is run asynchronously. The user can check the status of the task, but the task itself is running in the background and doesn't prevent any users from doing any tasks. The synchronization process can all be, also be triggered on a schedule or through other business logic defined in the Sitecore implementation. An example synchronization process could, for example, read marketing campaigns from a CRM system and map them to Sitecore campaigns and store them in the Sitecore master database for use in personalization or marketing automation. But since the definition of synchronization processes are incredibly flexible, synchronization could happen in all directions and all endpoints could really both be used for reading and storing data. Limits are set by the systems involved as well as the data exchange framework providers for those systems. For scaling reasons, the synchronization processes can be scaled out to a separate role, a data exchange framework remote client. The data exchange framework SDK provides an API for developers to create this role freely, for example, as work roles or web services. The custom business logic in the role will read the pipeline definition from the content management server through the data exchange framework SDK. At this point, the remote client essentially disconnects from the content management server and everything else is handled locally on the data exchange framework remote client. The data exchange framework remote client role is also responsible itself for determining when to trigger this synchronization process, for example, through a schedule or events in the system. But when the remote client does trigger the synchronization process, the logic is run on the client, and therefore the client will communicate with the defined endpoints. <clears throat>